Hello, and welcome to Applied Algebra Part 3 at General McLean High School. My name is Jeremy Reed, and I'll be the instructor for this course. First, allow me to tell you a little about myself. In 2003, I graduated from Penn State Barron with a Bachelor's of Science degree in Computer Engineering, and in 2008, I received my Master's of Education in Middle and Secondary Instruction from Edinburgh University. I have been teaching mathematics and computer science courses for the past 13 years, 12 of which have been at General McLean High School. In my spare time, I enjoy skiing with friends and running obstacle course races. For students that will be attending this course in person, my classroom is located in room 503, which is the computer lab right outside the library in the 500 hall at the high school. Some students will be attending this course virtually. I can be reached by phone at 814-273-1033, extension 1503. I can also be reached by email at jeremyreed at generalmcclain.org. Students are able to reach me by email, Schoology, or Microsoft Teams. Applied Algebra Part 3 is a one semester, one credit course designed as a continuation of Applied Algebra Part 2. The course covers applications of geometry, quadratic functions, and exponential growth and decay. Emphasis is placed on real life problem solving strategies and graphing. There are four units that we will be covering in Applied Algebra Part 3. They are applications of geometry, applications of trigonometry, applications of quadratic functions, and applications of exponential growth and decay. We will be using the CUDA Works website for assignments for this course. Students will be instructed on how to create an account on their website to access the course materials. Students will also be using their school-issued iPad daily for this course. Some of the apps that they will be using are Schoology, Notability, Pages, and Microsoft Teams. Other apps may be required as the course progresses. In this course, we will be following the grading scale that has been established by the district. Nine-week grades, as well as final grades for the course, will be determined by taking the total points the student earned and dividing it by the total points possible for the course. In this course, it is important that students be on time. This means being in their seat and ready to work when the class starts. Students need to be prepared for class. They should be completing all of their assignments and bringing all of their materials to class every day. Students need to be responsible for their actions and they need to respect others. Bullying and disrespect will not be tolerated in this course. Students need to be ready to learn and ask questions whenever they're having difficulties. And remember, using apps, videos, or copying from their peers isn't learning and students found cheating will receive zeros for that portion of work. If at any time you have questions or concerns about the course or how your student is doing, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I am looking forward to working with you and your student during the 2020-2021 school year. Have a great day.